Hey guys, Savan Sharma here. So this is the continuation of our tutorial where, uh, where we were discussing about how we can implement, how we can integrate Fortify into our Laravel application. So in our previous video, we talked about how we can integrate functionalities like login and registration and also resetting the password functionality. So in this and in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about how we can implement email verification functionality using Laravel Fortify into our Laravel 8 application. So if you look at the documentation, what it uh, it has mentioned here that we need to we need to make sure that our email verification feature is enabled in our Fortify configuration. So before we get started, just a quick reminder: if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified about the feature releases and all the tutorials that I'll, that I'll be releasing in the future. So let's get to the tutorial again so we need to enable this feature in our fortify configuration file so if you check our editor we have a config folder which consists of a fortify.php file and we need to enable this feature so it features email verification so this will ensure that uh, all the functionality for integrating the email verification is uh, implemented in our application so our next step is to implement the must verify email interface in our app models user class so we need to implement this so i'll just copy this and go to our users model so which is located in app models and user and this should implement must verify email interface and this is done so our next step is we need to go to the fortify service provider class and include this code so let's go to our fortify service provider which is the provider file and we need to Paste that code so what it is basically doing here is whenever we implement that interface in our user model so as soon as the as soon as the user registers so we will so the user will be redirected to this blade file which will be located in auth dot verify email so you can customize this as per your need but in this tutorial what i'll be doing is I'll, i created a auth folder in our views folder and i have included a file called verify email so let's go and check that file so auth verify email and basically what i'm doing here is i'm just notifying the user that a email verification link has been sent to their email and we also have a form which has a method and action so we'll implement that and which consists of an input type of email and the name is email and which and also has a button which says recent email verification links so just in case the user uh, forgets to forgets to verify their email in the specified time then they can also issue a new email verification link so we'll implement that by looking at the documentation so by default what it does is uh, after the user registers into our application the user will be redirected to the email verify route so this route will then display this blade file and then we also need to implement the verified middleware uh, and we can implement this on the routes that we want to protect from the user accessing it so if the user is not verified then we can implement this middleware onto those routes where we would, where we don't want to let the user to access our route so what we can do is we can go to the web.php file and I want to I want to uh, secure my home route so a user should not be able to should not be able to access our home route if the user has not verified their email so we can implement that using a group uh, group uh, route as well route group and then implement this verified middleware so the way the way we can define that is by specifying this by chaining this method here so I'll just paste that here and our next step is we also okay i'll 
we need to implement this so the, the if the user clicks on reset email verification uh, recent email verification link then we need to make a post request to this route so what i can do is i can just go to the verify email blade file and for the action i can specify this route and the method will be post so the user can again input their email and then Laravel will send a new email verification link to that specified email. So as you can see here, verify email template should include an informational message. We have done that and we can also optionally add a button to this template that triggers a post request. When this endpoint receives a request, a new verification email link will be emailed to the user. And that's how we can implement that so everything should work fine now as per the documentation so we can what we can do is we can go and check test it so i have already opened the project in our browser and what i can do is okay i have already logged in so let me just log out and click on register let's give some dummy name and let's also specify uh okay i have already used that mail input the password and click on register so we are redirected to the home route and we are also logged in as you can see we have we can see the home route here so if we want to go to the home route let's check what happens when we go to the home route since this route is protected using the verified middleware so if a user has not verified their email then we should go to the email verify route and we also should see the blade file that we have recently implemented that we recently defined okay so we are we are redirected to the redirected to the email verify route and we also defined a form there where we where we define uh, where we displayed as a verification link has been sent to your email and let's go and check our mail trap okay so we re received a new mail and which says verify email address so i'll just copy so i'll just open that in a new tab and we are redirected to our home route where the verified value is one so if you go and check our database click on fortify so the database is fortify and click on user stable so we have a new user uh, some mail one two three other gmail.com and the email verified ad has a timestamp value and uh, so our functionality of verifying the email is working fine so now if we go to the home route we should be able to access that route okay so we are redirected to the home route so everything is working fine and that's how we define the that's how we can implement the email verification functionality into a lot of our application using fortify and let's also check one more thing whether we are we can send a we can resend an email using this functionality so i defined a mail some mail one two three at the rate gmail.com so i'll just copy that and paste it here and recent email verification link and we are redirected to the home route so i think we should receive an email again but we didn't receive maybe because our email was already verified so what we can do is we can again create a new account and then check it whether we can receive that mail or not so john478 at the read gmail.com and hit on register so here we are redirected to the home route because as mentioned in the documentation what it does is it will go to the 
route service providers default home page so as mentioned here let's search for home so it is in our 45 configuration file so in our config 45.php so we have a route service provider home route so the default is this route so after a user successfully logs in or registers then the user will be redirect to this route and that's the reason we were redirected to the home route after the user registers so now we are registered and if we want to access the home route then we should see the email verify blade file and i'll just again check the email that i used and i'll just copy it paste it here and recent email verification link okay we are redirected back that means we should receive two mails okay we received two mails as you can see here the one this one is for when the user was registered so when the user registered we receive a verify email address and this one is when the user clicked a recent email verification button so this one so both are working fine and if you click on verify email address then our email should be verified as you can see verified equal to one and we can also confirm it in our database so we have a timestamp and i hope that you understand how we can implement this how we are using fortify to implement our basic authentication functionalities and this is how we can implement it using our own views and we can also implement our own functionality using this and we also have some more files here i want to show you so we have in our actions 45 so here we have the file for the registration and registration so if you if you have a user where we want to define some more fields so by default it uses a name email and password to register the user so we can specify some more fields using while the user registers and then we can use these credentials to create a new user and we also have some more files like the password validation and reset user password so here are some validations and then it will then reset the password using the new input password and some more which we haven't discussed in this tutorial so this was the basic tutorial on how we can implement the functionality using laravel 45 and i i hope that you understand how we can implement this so if you like the video do like and subscribe to my channel and to stay updated to stay to get notified about the future releases and i'll be posting some more uh, tutorials related to laravel so stay tuned for that and have a great time keep learning and see you in the next one